This is John Sanmez from Pluralsight, and in this module we're going to be talking about annotations in Java. And annotations are kind of an interesting subject for Java. A lot of beginning Java programmers have some trouble understanding them, so I really wanted to make this module so that we could go in depth and really see how to use an annotation and how to create our own annotations and learn a little bit about a topic called reflection so that we can improve our Java development skills and really be able to take advantage of this powerful feature that is a little bit underused in the Java programming language. So let's go over what we're going to cover in this module. The first thing that we're going to do is we're basically going to define annotations. We're going to look at what annotations are and talk a little bit about the purpose of annotations. Then we're going to get a little bit more practical and we're going to look at some solid practical uses for annotations in Java so that we can really understand what purpose they're serving and why this is needed in a programming language that runs on a virtual machine or, or how this is possible and kind of the advantages that we can get by using annotations. Then we're going to go and get into the code here and I'm going to show you some of the built-in annotations in Java. It's kind of easier to understand how annotations work when you see them in action. So we're going to look at some of the ones that are built into the language and go through some of those examples. And then we're going to go ahead and create our own annotation. We're just going to create our annotation class and I'm going to show you how you could create that and decorate some code using that annotation. Then we're going to take a brief stop and we're going to talk about an important concept in Java called reflection. And reflection we have not really covered very much so far, but this is kind of a more advanced topic, so we're not going to get too far into it. We're just going to define what reflection is in order to understand how to use annotations. And that will bring us to our last section of this module, which is using our annotation code. So the annotation that we create, we're going to go ahead and use that in some code, and that's going to really help us to understand how annotations work and how you could use them practically in your Java development. So what exactly is an annotation in Java? Well, the basic idea behind this concept of an annotation is metadata. And what that means is it's some data about your code or some data about data. It's kind of a higher level that exists outside of the code itself. It's describing the code or structures of the code and it doesn't directly affect the code. So this metadata is something that is not going to be executed along with your code. If you had a method and you ran that method, that method is going to get executed as part of your program, but the metadata is just describing that method. And that metadata might end up getting used by your program or some other program, but it doesn't necessarily get executed with your code. A good way to think about this concept is this picture that I have here is of some kind of a contract, you can see, and there's an annotation here, a little sticker that says sign and date. And when you think about this, this is a concept that you're probably already familiar with. If you were to sign and date this contract, you would not consider the little sticker that says sign and date as part of the contract. You can see that this is annotating. It's putting some additional information about this contract or this field on that contract. And so just how this sign and date sticker can be used to annotate a contract, an annotation in Java can be used to annotate some code or some method or some area of your code, your program in Java. So let's look at how this applies to Java itself. What is an annotation in Java? What is the structure? It's basically just a data holding class. It's implemented in Java as a kind of a class and that class has some data. It might have different pieces of data depending on what kind of annotation it is. If we thought about that annotation on that sticker, it said sign and date. So maybe it, that annotation would have a signature and a date to it. Annotations are basically a collection of some data that you're going to use to describe some code that's in your Java class. So these annotations can be applied in various places in your code. They could apply, be applied to classes, to fields, to methods, and they can be, even be applied at single statement levels. In general, you're going to see annotations at maybe a class level or a method level. That's probably the most common. 
And in order to use an annotation in Java, you're basically just going to put that annotation before the declaration of the thing that it annotates. So I have an example of some syntax here. You can see annotations start with this at symbol. And here I've got an annotation for suppressing warnings. And this annotation will tell the compiler that this particular warning needs to be suppressed for this line of code. So you can see that we have an at symbol, we have the name of the annotation, and then in our parentheses here, we fill in the values or the data for the annotation. This one happens to have a piece of data called value that we're setting equal to deprecation. Annotation could have multiple data fields in here that you could set, and if there's only one, you could omit this value equal part, and we could just put deprecation in here. But that's the basic idea of an annotation. You would just put this line of code before a line of code that you wanted this annotation to apply to. And if you did this at the class level, you'd put it right before the class declaration. And same thing for a method. So this is basically how you would create an annotation in Java. And we're going to actually get into the code and see how to do this in a little bit.